Unreal Engine 5, the default interface. Since the interface for Unreal Editor is highly customizable, it is possible that what you see may change from one launch to the next. Tab Bar. The level editor has a tab along the top with the name of the current level. Tabs from other editor windows may be docked alongside this tab for quick and easy navigation, similar to a web browser. The menu bar in the editor should be familiar to anyone who has used Windows applications previously. It provides access to general tools and commands that are used when working with levels in the editor. The toolbar panel displays a group of commands, providing quick access to commonly used tools and operations. Bottom toolbar panel contains shortcuts to the command console, output log, and derived data functionality. The viewport panel is your window into the worlds you create in Unreal Engine. This panel contains a set of viewports, each of which can be maximized to fill the entire panel and offer the ability to display the world from one of three orthographic views, top, side, front, or a perspective view giving you complete control over what you see and how you see it. The details panel contains information, utilities, and functions for the current selection in the viewport. It contains transform edit boxes for moving, rotating, and scaling actors, displays all of the editable properties for the selected actors, and provides quick access to additional editing functionality depending on the type of actors selected in the viewport. For example, selected actors can be exported to FBX and converted to another compatible type. Selection details allow you to view the materials used by the selected actors, if any, and quickly open them for editing. The level editor can be put into different editing modes to enable specialized editing interfaces and workflows for editing particular types of actors or geometry. To display a selection of modes, in the level editor toolbar, open the modes dropdown. Modes change the primary behavior of the level editor for a specialized task, such as moving and transforming assets in the world, sculpting landscapes, generating foliage, creating geometry brushes and volumes, and painting on meshes. The Outliner panel displays all of the actors within the scene in a hierarchical tree view. You can select and modify actors directly from the Outliner. Use the Info drop-down menu to display an additional column that shows levels, layers, or ID names. Layers provide the ability to quickly select as well as control visibility of groups of related actors. You can use your layers to quickly unclutter a scene leaving only the geometry and actors that you are working with. For example, you might be working on a building that has multiple levels but is comprised of many modular parts. By assigning each floor to a layer, you can hide each of the floors you are not working on making the top view much more manageable. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe the channel for more videos.